It's time to go all in. Give it 110%. No retreat, no surrender. Full throttle. <laughs> yeah, we all think that at times. But there's one problem. It's called burnout. Life is complicated. There are a lot of moving parts, and things are constantly changing. We can't work at our best if we're always moving at maximum speed. Look, even in sports, maximum effort isn't always the best. Kicking a ball with maximum strength doesn't mean it was a good play. And at the same time, minimum effort can be just as disastrous. Optimal levels yield the best results. Or when it comes to something as simple as baking a cake, the minimum temperature just won't get the job done. But cranking the oven to a maximum temperature isn't exactly efficient. Once again, optimal levels yield the best results. Yeah, it's natural to ignore such a simple principle. You want to be the best employee you can, the best husband, brother, or dad, the best spouse or parent. You want to be the best church member possible. So our natural reaction is to crank up our energy and give it our all in every situation at every moment. It's a natural instinct to feel you have to operate at your maximum to be your best. Elder M. Russell Ballard said, there are those who experience some feelings of guilt when their time and attention are being torn between competing demands and priorities. As mortals, we simply cannot do everything at once. Therefore, we must do all things in wisdom and order. Optimal levels yield the best results. That means sometimes we'll have to postpone one responsibility in order to take care of another. Sometimes family will need our full attention. Sometimes our professional responsibilities will require our time. And other times, our church callings might come first. The balance of priorities will look different for each person and will change day to day, even hour to hour. And some days, you might even feel absolutely overwhelmed and overburdened. You may feel it's impossible to function at such low levels and still be your best. President Henry B. Eyring teaches us that even when we feel we're at our lowest, we shouldn't focus on our own performance. But remember that the Lord promises His Spirit will always be with us. He sees everything we do and promises to multiply our efforts. We just need to give the best effort given our current situation. So when in doubt, ask the Lord for His guidance and He'll help us know what proper wisdom and order looks like for each one of us. Remember, taking life one day at a time, one event at a time with balanced expectations is how we do things in wisdom and order. That's how we function at optimal levels so we can operate at our best.